Dynamic SQL. What is Dynamic SQL, also known as Generic SQL? Dynamic SQL is like any dynamic sort of code. It's generated at runtime, constructed at runtime. It's built based on the values of variables rather than an explicit string. So you could change a table name in a select statement. You could change a where clause, the values in the where clause, etc., etc. Dynamic SQL can be used for both DML and DDL commands, data manipulation language, and data definition language commands. Commands which change data and change metadata, respectively. Dynamic SQL can be used both inside and outside of procedures. In other words, Dynamic SQL can be executed within PLSQL blocks or in command line form in SQL+. The most efficient method of executing Dynamic SQL is using the execute immediate command. Execute immediate command is followed by a string enclosed in single quotes. The single quoted string contains the SQL, DML, or DDL command. It's important to remember that you cannot execute DDL commands directly in PLSQL blocks. They have to be executed dynamically using something such as the execute immediate command. As I already said, you need explicit system privileges to execute whatever DDL commands you're executing. There is an older form of dynamic SQL. Execute immediate or the use of the execute immediate command is now known as native dynamic SQL. In the past, and still available now, a package called DBMS SQL was utilized to execute dynamic SQL. The execute immediate command is much simpler and easier to use and is generally faster. So we won't be covering the DBMS SQL package, but it does exist. Now I want to go and take a quick look at some examples. Here's my first example. It says, let's count all the rows in all tables. First of all, what I'm doing is I'm setting up a cursor which reads the table name from my user tables view and orders it by table name. Then what I'm doing is I'm using an implicit cursor for loop to scroll through it and then I'm using an execute immediate command to simply select the count of rows from each table. So I'm submitting this select count command from the table selected from the cursor into the rows variable using a dynamic SQL native dynamic SQL execute immediate command and then I'm going to output the number of rows using the output command. So let's copy and paste this into SQL plus and execute it. Here's the result of my table count procedure. As you can see, these are my three divided up ticket tables if you can remember when we did that. Here's the ticket table supporting act, etc, etc. All nice and neatly laid out. The second example produces exactly the same result as the first. Although what I do here is I'm using a very large varchar2 variable called SQL code. I'm going to build the select statement into this variable and then I'm going to simply execute immediate on the variable name into rows. So let's run that as well and make sure we get the same result, which we do. As you can see, the numbers are all the same. Generally, I remember the ticket row number result because it's very large. Another way to do row counts is a SQL plus script, which I have here. All this does is really generate a SQL statement in the same way that execute immediate probably does internally. It pumps it out to a log file, this log file, namely count SQL, and then executes that log file. So we can run that quickly just to see what that looks like. But that's the equivalent of the table count procedure from PLSQL that I've just been running in two examples. And this is the SQL equivalent. And there we have it. So that's some example dynamic simple DML commands.